So what mastics are, mastics are a uh, hot applied load bearing repair material uh, that uh, kind of fits a specialty niche out there. What it was originally designed for was to, as a alternative to cutting out saw cutting and, and replacing asphalt in cracks that were too wide to be uh, crack sealed. A uh, crack sealing contractor that normally does a lot of the highway work, uh, this would be an excellent tool for them to handle some of these areas uh, that they, they can't address with, with the conventional crack sealant. It's uh, designed for cracks that are two or three or four inches wide. Uh, it works well on uh, depressed cracks where you want to level out the ride control a highway or street. It can be used uh, on bridge approaches to level out between the asphalt pavement and, and the concrete uh, bridge deck. After time, those seem to, seem to settle down and uh, the traffic kind of thumps against the bridge deck, creating, uh, you know, over years of constant pounding, it, it, it takes its toll on the bridge. And of course, bridges are one of the most expensive parts of anything in a highway system. The different types of uh, repairs that uh, can be done with mastic is, I mentioned the uh, wide depressed cracks, thermal cracks, uh, these are working cracks and, and not the only alternative to that is to either fill them with coal mix or saw cut them out and uh, put asphalt back in there. Being flexible, the material does stabilize well with the pavement, it expands and contracts with the same motion as the asphalt surrounding, which uh, in a normal asphalt patch that's really hard to accomplish because due to the different uh, oils and stuff, uh, the patch may contract and expand at a different rate than the surrounding pavement around it. Uh, other uses which I also mentioned was, uh, you know, approaches to bridge decks, manhole covers, uh, leveling out around manhole covers so that uh, uh, snow plows and stuff don't, don't catch it, and utility cuts. Uh, where a lot of the uh, governmental agencies are using it is bridge decks because it's really hard to get anything to stay in a bridge deck that moves up and down. You know, bridge decks just flex, they're constantly moving and Rapid set concretes eventually just crack and they tend to want to pop out and create a traffic hazard. So this, this material is, is an excellent choice for repairing a bridge decks. The mastic versus the cold patch repair in the wide thermal cracks. Uh, what you're trying to do is, is to solidify that, that repair area to keep the non-compressible materials from getting down in there and, and creating further damage. Cold mix s tends to shift too much. Uh, it, it moves at a, a greater rate than the, the surrounding pavement, so you're not really protecting it from anything falling down in there and then when the pavement expands, creating another issue. Uh, cost effectiveness of mastic versus a conventional repair uh, due to the uh, the, the speediness, the quickness of the repair is, tends to be far more economical to do than uh, to go in and, and do the conventional type of repair where you saw cut and uh, replace the material. Uh, mastic techniques, um, another thing that makes them cost effective depending on, it, depending on where the repair is being done and uh, what the aesthetic quality needs to be. Uh, mastic works well with just conventional blow and go type repair where you uh, scoop out the loose material and apply the hot material in there and just uh, smooth it out and you have kind of a random shaped repair. Other agencies, if aesthetics is a, a main issue, then they'll saw cut them out just like if they're going to fill it in with asphalt or, or, or concrete. Uh, uh, you do a saw cut repair, it makes a really nice, neat, clean repair and it's ready for traffic in a couple hours. Mastics are designed to work equally well in either concrete or asphalt pavements. Uh, they actually uh, come in two colors. They come in black, which would be for the asphalt repair, and they come in a gray, which would be for the concrete repair. You can use uh, the black, though, in, in concrete and vice versa, but uh, that's just the way that they're kind of designed. The uh, concrete repair material is uh, made out of uh, resins and select aggregate. It has no asphalt in it. It's uh, more of a plasticized type material, where the uh, black material is more of an asphalt, similar to to uh, crack sealant.
types of equipment that, that are needed to utilize mastic is a, a melter, which is a can be a, a trailer mounted unit, which is usually around 200 gallons. And it, it's very similar to a crack sealing machine with the exception that they usually have a, a horizontal auger in there versus an agitator to keep the aggregate suspended. Uh, the back of the machine has a uh, chute, kind of like a concrete chute where the material pours out. And uh, the tools that come with the machine are, are, are usually hot irons. You keep the irons hot and uh, work the material to the desired effect with hot irons. It's kind of like working concrete except you're using hot tools so that the, the asphalt does not stick to whatever you're trying to move it around with. Aside from supplying the material, we uh, sell and both rent or lease the equipment. We have both trailer mounted units which are 200 gallon full-blown mastic machines uh, and we have the smaller more economical 55 gallon version which if the contractor wants to own his equipment it's, it, it's uh, very economical to get into it. As I mentioned uh, Jim Seal offers the material and the equipment to apply it. Uh, we both sell and lease the equipment. Uh, this is one of the smaller versions that we have. This is the 55 gallon propane unit. Uh, you know, basically consists of an auger and a, a four inch spout here to, to let the aggregate and uh, mastic material flow out. Uh, the repair, one thing I mentioned before is uh, there's various types of, uh, besides the hot irons, there's different drag boxes where that you can strike the, the repair off at various widths, whether it's 12, 18, or 24 inches wide. Uh, thermostatically controlled, very easy to use. And the 200-gallon uh, trailer unit, of course, is, is uh, it's a one-switch machine. You just flip it, it uh, heats up, agitates, and dispenses out the back and, uh, for the larger repair jobs. And another thing that uh, Jim Sill offers that we want to you know, always keep out in front of our customers is that uh, we have an excellent financing program. Uh, if the customer chooses to own his own equipment, we'll make it just as easy as possible to do so.